we have yeah stay optimistic about your love life retreat yes my solitude my lonely um capricorns and true love so do not despair i know it's 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 a cycle right where our moods are it's kind of a cycle and i feel this is a lot about programming and this is about what we need to do in terms of our vibration and in our love life because i think you guys are doing amazing in all other areas you guys know where to stay focused at but when it comes to love capricorns it's not really our cup of tea. It's probably the ones, the, the area we kind of struggle the most. So we are trying to shift to this, finding this true love. For some of you, you know, for some of you, you may have met someone. So this is a time where you might be re-triggered as well. I do need to see, um, feel a need for you guys to have a playful energy so this is about being in this flurry energy some of you may connect with someone and have some passion you know some nice happy time with somebody that you may have a connection with but i feel with this retreat and optimism it's not there it's almost like the question mark question mark question mark whether this person is it or not um so let's see what else we got for you, Capricorn. Give me more um, Capricorn's energy. I feel like your emotions are going through this kind of past energy um, of betrayal. And again, that need to stay optimistic is really necessary. For some of you, you may aren't maybe dating someone who really is a good person. But it's hard for you to see it because, you know, it, you tend to go back into this old energy, you know, of remembering. So we have Ace of Pentacles. And of course, you guys are always working on Ace of Pentacles. Third eye chakra, my goodness. Uh, this is where I feel the shadows coming in, you know, and, and it could be the energy that's being carried because, wow, so much Pentacles here. You got nine of pentacles, of course. Your this is the retreat energy. Nine of pentacles is hermit energy, and of course, more pentacles with the six of pentacles, and then conflict and defeat. So it's almost like you guys know you work it. You focus so much on all the physical, the material aspects of your life, but when the third eye comes in, which is always my mirror, you realize where this area is not really there. So. A lot of you can feel this five of swords energy in your mind, in your heart, um, mainly in your mind right now, because our mind is having a hard time being optimistic. Um, our eagles may be, you know, we do have the Leo energy. Our eagle may feel a little low right now. Um, but again, this is about the mirroring and finding harmonization. So balance within our own shadow and our light. And what is causing, I really feel this mind, this mental battle within. So obviously Ace of Pentacles, I mean, come on. Oh my goodness, I knew it. Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles and Four of Swords. A lot of you are really wanting and there's a desire. So again, manifestation. A lot of you probably are in the beginning stages of this because we have an Ace of Pentacles and a Ace of Cups. So there is love here for some of you. And for others of you, it's a it's a manifesting stage. Four of Swords, you're kind of thinking about it, but also thinking about your past energy and then missing that energy in terms of wanting someone or share space with someone um, in this time alone. Get more of this third eye. Queen of Pentacles, there you go, Miss, Missy and Mr. And the Leo energy. So again, our our emotional bodies kind of um, put us in a space. I think the mirror here is maybe a little too much focus on the Pentacles, but not enough focus. And this is where the control is. So Capricorns, there's nothing wrong with controlling your material aspects, the material side of your life. So you two guys do it best more than anyone, but... It doesn't mean that you don't want to be tamed or you want 
that connection and I really feel this is this to me feels like a challenge the strength card your need to kind of revive yourself again the optimism finding that confidence is kind of is knocking some of you and your emotions give me more of the strength card like it's this integration showing you some things there's too many cards buried but ten of swords wants to pop out give me more of the strength card I feel like there's a valuable lesson here. Yeah, of course. Judgment on the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. All the betrayals, you know, this is a valuable lesson. And if it's resurfacing at the moment, um, Capricorn, again, your third eye, there's a lesson. There's something to heal. There's some, oh God, as I say that is the... Um, the star and the five of pentacles so there's some healing energy of rejection or betrayal or you know having connections that didn't reciprocate in the past and you know you, you're in a space where it just kind of again puts you in your in your waters your ace of cups and it's it's almost like some of you may think of like, how did this not kickstart? How did this work? Connection did not go anywhere. How did this not happen? Um, a lot of that. And I just, I know it's a strange message, Capricorn, but I just feel there's a really huge lesson behind all this. And it's all leading you to your true love. Um, and for some of you, it's to see maybe some of your, you know, there is comparison here. So maybe some of you, there is an energy of things resurfacing again i do i can't i can't there's shadow work basically there's an integration of your shadow Capricorn, this nine of pentacles you got to give yourself a pat on the back capricorn and really see how far you've come so nine of pentacles knight of cups five of cups and the three of wands Yes, focusing on the material things will keep you away from, you know, offering your cup, the dating world, right? Um, but also I'm seeing that nothing is, it, nothing, um, nothing is catching your eye with this five of cups because it just, three of wands, there's no, um, I feel like you're feeling like there's no alignment with, with your goals, your nine of pentacles with your stability. There's no real, you're not in this space of finding a match and so as much as you guys try to you know really look forward to it again you guys your emotions are being affected the three of wands is about optimism you know forward thinking progress waiting our patience and then there's if anything capricorn is the best sign for patience and so i just feel like don't get discouraged with this knight of cups stay optimistic with the three of wands um, true love will come and the emotions you will find someone who's worth your cup worth your emotions worth the exchange king of cups my god before we just had the queen of cups so lots of waters and there was that king of swords five of wands you know there is a lot that you know it's kind of showing you and i think also um Capricorns, don't be low. I just feel this low. Oh my God, devil energy in the bottom. Don't, don't, don't go there, okay? It's, and if you are, embrace it and see it for what it is. Get around the Six of Pentacles. Get around the Six of Pentacles. You know, don't knock yourself for feeling like you've settled in the past. All of these connections teach you something. Give me more of this Six of Pentacles. Of course, of course, Capricorn, another nine of pentacles, because that's all you've guys been. You've guys been in these nine of pentacles for the past couple of weeks and more pentacles, six of pentacles. So nine of, what's your nine of cups? You know, you're good. Capricorn. And as long as you stay focused on this area of your life things will turn out for you 
things will, you will find that one that you truly, you know, will match and align with your energy. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm, I'm speaking to a group of disappointed Capricorns. Getting around this conflict and defeat. Getting around this conflict and defeat. Uh, your emotions again and the hermit is so much alone i know my single capricorns king of wands you know some of you may find maybe a date find a um seeing a virgo uh you may see a leo some of you may have a water sign um but king of wands energy here a uh, fire sign aries leo sag but <sighs> I gotta, I gotta clarify this King of Wands. Can not run this King of Wands? Can not run this King? Of, another King. Oh my goodness! King of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. So again, more Pentacles. So you guys are just keeping yourselves very busy, and this is an energy of you're going for a lot of stuff. You guys are busy bodies. King of Wands, Queen of Wands is always busy. You're staying in this King of Swords, very detached um, energy, focusing on your work, Ten of Pentacles. But it doesn't mean there isn't a desire because really there, there's a lot being focused for the stability of your life. But your heart, your heart, Capricorn, um, I feel like you feel it. King of Cups, you know, Justice, I knew the Queen of Swords and there she goes. The want, the need, and the desire for this this balanced connection will happen, but you cannot fall into the traps of the mind, the Five of Swords energy, and allow the past to really put keep you in this King of Swords where maybe you know I'm here. Some some of you may have that. Don't don't mess with me. Um, don't mess with me, face. But your match is, is, is definitely on its way. You got to lighten up. I can't even stress this, this more. You've got to be youthful. Lighten up this energy, Capricorn. I think that's what needs to be done. And, you know, for, for those of you who are enjoying the singlehood, then continue to embrace it. You know, stay focused clearly on your pentacles. Don't let the week, the noise of the week get to you. Um, you know, your, your match is out there and it's about staying optimistic. This is truly about how your vibration and you guys have been so great because clearly the nine of pentacles is, is everything that has been happening. I really feel for you for a long time, but this is about knowing you have a match. For some of you, there is that match, but there is a triggering, and I feel like an ish integration of this, this third eye of the past, a lesson of the past that may resurface. And I feel like this is a temporary energy where it might blind you a little bit. But again, don't take it too serious in the sense of like it's what's happening it's just it's just trying to show you something and it could be where you're either too much too focused on your work um and you need to also give into your love life as well right so let's see what the blockages are blockages passion what are you passionate about this is your purpose the blockage is your passion your too focused, too focused on pentacles. You're gonna to need to be single, my Capricorns, and this energy. But I'm a Capricorn sis, so I get it. Listen, I'm not, I'm not knocking this. I'd rather you be stable and finding that boo boo later, and doing what you have to do. I'm all for it. But for those who are very tight knit, and in this King of Swords energy, um, loosen up a little bit. You know, get a little playful and, you know, allow someone to explore your heart and 
be confident that you are where you need to be. You're stable where you need to be and that they can't take that part away from you. And I know that energy of, because the thing is that when a Capricorn loves, Capricorns love very hard. And, you know, when, when we have someone who hurts us and betrays us, we kind of fall very hard, right? Where it kind of does take away at times away from other areas. And then we knock ourselves for like allowing someone to disrupt even that like certain stabilities we have going on but capricorn this is the lesson i feel like this is the hardest lesson we go through when it comes to love because we have to learn you know to still allow someone in and knowing that it won't disrupt and then also master not allowing our lives to be disrupted by love so tough lesson but it is what it is. Gratitude, exactly. Be grateful. You guys got a lot of great things going on. And your true match will appear. It will. And I feel like justice will be served. And that's what Spirit is saying. But you've got to be playful. And you've got to be in this place of gratitude. So say thank you. Please practice gratitude. Take one moment a day to, to think about the things and people you are grateful for in your life. When you have a grateful heart, this will multiply. And more grateful blessings will be coming your way. Be thankful for what you already have. Um, some of you, you may already have this person and it's just a matter to remember to be gratitude, grateful for them and they're not your past, right? So, you know, let that, let the mirror show you what, what needs to be worked on. So courage, strength card, my goodness, yes. And, the, and we have it here as a mirror. So there's a lot that's being kind of, shown to you here i follow the stream not knowing where it will take me but i no longer feel afraid and this is a, a need to control in some ways right where we put that wall or that barrier so trusting the process and taking the leap allowing your heart to take that leap as well knowing not no and being comfortable that you don't know where it's going to take you but no longer being afraid. And then water, Ugh, Capricorn, open your waters. That's what we're talking about. Let the, let the love come in. Someone who's nurturing, empathic, and sensitive. Open your heart. We'll loosen up some of this um, pentacles. Uh, they're really, you know, the waters need to open. It's, it's interesting that we have both king and queen of cups here as, as the couple pair. And then you've got all this masculine energy um, and it's pentacle. So it's because the waters, you know, you've got to open up this part and allow your, in order to meet this match on a heart level, you know, you have to also, you know, be comfortable with the leaps that it's going to, have, you know, put you in and the discomfort of it, of opening yourself up again. So. Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe.